Hey guys, today uh, I'm doing biceps and uh, you would start out maybe with some uh, concentration curls, which I think is great. You know, the higher the peak of the arm, the bigger the bicep looks. So it's all an illusion. What you wanna work is target mostly the inside of the bicep because when you flex, that's what you're gonna see. It's the inner head of the bicep. And the concentration curl, what you wanna do is get your elbow down here. You don't wanna be up here that means you're using your shoulders and your back. So you want to get down deep in here, rest in the tricep in the inner thigh. Make sure you got enough room here because you're going to curl this thing. What people do, they curl out here when you need to curl here. So here's the difference. If I'm curling, I don't want to go out there. I want to turn in and go here. I'm trying to pull all the way up, I'm trying to squeeze the top, the peak of the bicep. Trying to feel the contraction, control the weight coming down. When you lower the weight, you want to soften your grip. Don't have a death grip. I see my clients death grip all the time. Soften your grip, nice and slow. Squeeze, keep the tension coming down, keep the tension. And you're trying to do eight to 10 reps, at least three or four sets. Control it, contract. I'm not swinging, I'm not throwing my body into it. Contract, alternate here, so here we go. Instead of going out, I'm gonna go in here. That's the peak. Soft grip coming down. In fact, my hand's almost open, but still closed. Don't open the hand, keep it closed. Squeeze the top, there's your peak. Mentally, let the bicep do all the work. Feel it, feel the pull. Control, good isolation. Like I said, three or four sets, at least twice a week. This is a great start. And then you go into doing the standing uh, barbell curls or preacher curl on the machine. Just like that. Okay, guys.